Hey guys, Derek here from Modern Castle. We put the latest robot vacuum from Roborock, the S7 Max V Ultra, through a battery of nine different performance tests. How did it do? Let's go ahead, find out now. This video is sponsored by NapLab. NapLab is our sister channel where we put mattresses to the test. We test mattresses through our battery of nine different tests to create the most objective, transparent, and helpful reviews possible. If you're in the market for a new mattress and need help, visit us over at naplab.com or on our channel at YouTube. At Modern Castle, we test robot vacuums with nine different performance tests. These tests are designed to help us measure key factors related to cleaning, usability, and navigation. First up, our cleaning tests. To test the cleaning performance of the S7 Max V, we use four debris types on three different floor types. We run the vacuum on max setting over the floor and measure the amount of debris removed by weight. The S7 Max V did well in our tests with an overall removal of 97.9% across all floor and debris types. On hardwood floors, the S7 Max V removed 99% of the debris, leaving behind only a small trace of sugar and kitty litter. The robot vacuum struggled the most on low pile carpet, albeit not by much. The majority of the remaining debris left was sugar and kitty litter. The S7 Max V removed 96.3% of total debris by weight on low pile carpet. On our final test, high pile carpet, the S7 Max V removed 98.4% of the debris, leaving behind a piece or two of cereal and some kitty litter. Overall, the S7 Max V did a fantastic job during our cleaning tests. Across the board, it was able to remove the vast majority of debris, struggling the most with smaller debris types like sugar and kitty litter. Comparing the S7 Max V versus other high end robot vacuums, it trails slightly versus many Roomba models. However, its performance is notably better than most others. To test the S7's mopping functionality, we had it clean our 1,000 square foot office and studio space. Overall, the S7 Max V performed well. Generally, robot mops are great as a daily mopper. However, it's not necessarily a replacement for a traditional mop. That said, the S7 Max V did a great job as a daily mopper, handling light to moderate messes without issue. The robot is capable of having the mop cloth attached even when the S7 Max V vacuums. When it detects carpet, the vacuum will automatically lift the mop cloth out of the way and continue vacuuming. With the addition of the empty wash fill dock, it can fill up, vacuum, mop, and get itself ready for its next scheduled cleanup. While the mopping attachment isn't a full replacement for a dedicated mop, it is arguably the best version of any robot mop on the market. Being able to wash its own mopping pads and get clean water is incredibly convenient. It's that next level convenience that really takes the mop attachment to the next level. For our long hair tests, we place long strands of hair in the direct cleaning path of the robot vacuum. We run the robot over the hair and see how much was removed, as well as if any hair was tangled in the brush roll. In our long hair test, the S7 Max V did a great job at removing all the strands placed on the floor. However, it wasn't able to keep the hair from tangling around the brush roll. After the test, we noticed a moderate amount of hair tangled around the brush roll and a few strands around the spinning brush. If you often have long strands of hair around the house, make sure to check the brush roll and remove any tangles as needed. Notably, the S7 Max V brush roll only utilizes a single brush as opposed to dual spinning brushes. This single brush roll design doesn't work as well at preventing hair tangles, which is the primary reason why I think we're seeing worse tangling here. Our pet hair test is similar to the long hair test. We place pet fur on high pile carpet and run the vacuum over the fur. We check to see how much was removed and if any pet hair was tangled. The S7 Maxi was able to remove most of the pet fur we put in its path. However, I did notice some hair remained after running the test. The brush roll showed none of the hair was tangled in it, but it did look like some of the pet fur was statically stuck to the bottom of the vacuum. Our obstacle avoidance test checks how well the robot vacuum can avoid common obstacles found around your home during cleaning. The Roborock S7 Max V has multiple features that assist it in intelligently cleaning the floor. It comes with LiDAR on top, an RGB camera, and a light for navigation in dark areas. 
Roborock uses this hardware in tandem with the reactive AI to recognize and avoid objects. When the robot recognizes an obstacle, it will mark it on the in-app map for you to check later. Additionally, the S7 Max V can take pictures of these obstacles with your explicit permission. To best test these features, we laid fake pet waste, a shoe, a sock, and a mug in the cleaning path of the S7. We ran the robot vacuum and tested to see if it could successfully navigate through these objects. I was impressed by the object avoidance of the S7 Max V. Our testing showed it was able to completely avoid the obstacles and continue cleaning around them. In addition, I also have been using the S7 Max V in my personal home for long-term testing. For these tests, I want to gauge how well the robot does in a more typical home environment. Thus far, it's done fantastic. I have two young children, bar stools with wide and skinny floor legs, power cords, pet toys, and plenty of other stuff for the robot to get stuck on. Only on one occasion have I found the robot stuck. It got caught on a fringy bath mat. Beyond that, nothing has posed any challenge to the S7 Max V. In a typical cleaning session, the S7 Max V identifies 45 to 50 obstacles in my home that it was able to avoid. Next, we test how well the S7 Max V was able to navigate and clean on a broader scale. Our navigation tests are focused on three core requirements, fully navigating and cleaning our space, not getting stuck while cleaning, and returning to the charger. The S7 Max V successfully navigated our office and studio space without getting stuck and returned to the base. I was impressed with the navigation as our office space has numerous things that can trip up a robot vacuum, including cords, light stands, products for testing, long table legs, and videography equipment. The combination of LiDAR, RGB camera, and the structured light were able to work together to move around our space. During our long-term daily cleaning test, we let the S7 Max V clean our entire studio and my personal home. Thus far, only on one occasion has it found itself stuck. Beyond that one slip up, the robot never got stuck, always cleaned the full area, always returned to its charging base, and routinely avoided all obstacles. Our testing showed the Roborock S7 Max V was able to clean our 1,000 square foot office and studio space within 50 to 60 minutes. This is a great cleaning speed from the Max V. We find it to be a good bit faster than many other high-end models in regard to cleaning speed, which is most likely a result of its navigational efficiency. Using the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra is fantastic. It comes with a plethora of features that effectively allow the robot to run on its own once it's been set up. Due to the inclusion of the empty wash fill dock, there is a degree of setup involved before you can use the S7 Max V. The robot itself comes partially charged, however, Roborock recommends fully charging the S7 Max V before your first use. Additionally, if you want to set up the empty wash fill dock, you will need to remove a small plate covering the air inlet on the vacuum itself. That being said, the Roborock S7 Max V is capable of running without the empty wash fill dock. Without it, you'll need to manually empty the dustbin and clean the mopping pads. Once the S7 is set up, it can be controlled via three buttons on the top. They can power the device, spot clean a small area, or return the vacuum to the base. For more options, the Max V Ultra can be connected to the Roborock app. The devices can be quickly connected via the in-app instructions, and once connected, it provides a variety of features. These range from map management, custom scheduling, device control, and more. The app connectivity in tandem with the empty wash fill dock allows users to effectively set up the S7 and forget about it. Keeping the Roborock S7 Maxi running like new is easy with the empty wash fill dock because it does the majority of the work for you. The station automatically empties the dust spin, fills the water tank, cleans the mop cloth, and charges the vacuum. Of course, you can do these things without the dock, but it is a nice addition to have. This reduces the number of tasks needed to emptying and filling the water tanks, and replacing the debris bag as needed. The empty wash fill dock is large and will require some space on the floor. However, the added usability features more than make up for the size. More involved maintenance tasks like cleaning the brush roll or front wheel will need to be done by the user, but Roborock has made this relatively easy to do with the use of a few tools. For our noise test, we ran the S7 Max V on high pile carpet in each mode. We then measured the noise generated via a sound meter from about three feet away. Our testing showed the S7 Max V to have a noise range of 52 to 57 decibels while running. While using the empty wash filled dock, the noise is considerably louder. Here's what it sounds like in each mode.
Luckily, if you're concerned about the noise while you are sleeping, you can set up the do not disturb mode. That will force the S7 Max V to run on quiet, not use the self emptying features, avoid using lights, and prevent it from running during your sleep hours. Roborock has three different options you can choose when buying the S7 Max V. Each of these comes with the same S7 Max V robot vacuum. However, the main difference is the included charging dock. All three versions will have the standard cleaning dock, while the Plus has an auto dust empty base and the Ultra has the automatic empty wash fill dock. The auto dust emptying dock on the S7 Max V Plus only empties the dust bin, while the empty wash fill dock empties the dust bin, washes the mop, and fills the clean water tank. The physical S7 Max V robot with the standard Plus and Ultra versions are all identical. So, is the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra right for you? The S7 Max V is an advanced robot vacuum mop combo with bleeding edge design. It has a steep asking price, but has the features and performance to back it up. In our test, the S7 Max V was able to remove 97.9% .9 of all debris types across three floor types, showcasing excellent overall performance. Additionally, the mop performed well, removing a good portion of dirt from the floor. The Roborock uses LiDAR, an RGB camera, and a structured light sensor to expertly navigate obstacle-ridden floors. In our testing, it easily navigated between obstacle, successfully cleaning the whole floor, and returned to the base all within 50 to 60 minutes. Last but not least, the S7 Max V Ultra comes with the auto wash filled dock for charging and automatic daily maintenance. This reduces the amount of time you need to spend with your hands on the device. With custom schedules and device management from the app, the Roborock S7 Max V can effectively run on its own. Overall, it's a fantastically high performing robot, arguably the best robot vacuum ever built. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Comments and questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the Roborock S7 Max V, we've got a link in the description. For more from Modern Castle, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at moderncastle.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.